Coming to you live from Studio V176 in the Porsche Lawn Galaxy, it's Gorse Lawn Candleberry's Kitchen. Good evening and welcome to Gorse Lawn Candleberry's Kitchen. I'm Gorse Lawn Candleberry and today we'll be having Slurp Drop Beeble Brang on the show to demonstrate how to make guacamole. Hey Slurp Drop, how's it going? It's going pretty good, yeah. Okay, well today we're going to start with uh, a little recipe of mine called guacamole. Never been invented or cooked by anyone else on All this right. planet. Okay, so how are we going to do this, Slurp Drop? Okay, well, first, um, I cannot demonstrate, of course, in the studio, step one, because the first step is to capture an alien of your own, okay? And once you capture that alien, you need to grind it up and mash it, you know, mash it. Into, so, like, a green paste. Into like a paste. green paste, yeah. So once you do that, uh, your finished product should look like this. Looks very delicious. Like no, thanks. Okay. Not yet. Okay, so Good. what's next? Okay, next, you need to um, carefully capture a gaggle blonde. Once you capture that gaggle blonde, you need to take out its heart. And once you get its heart, the gaggle blonde heart. They have very squishy hearts. Should look like this gaggle blonde heart, okay? Now, with the gaggle blonde heart, you carefully cut it into small chunks. All right, and... Hmm. Now, once you get it into small chunks, your finished product should look like this. All right. Now, one of the most important ingredients of guacamole is styrofoam. You can never forget the styrofoam. So once you get the styrofoam, you need to make sure that you cut the styrofoam the same way you would cut the heart, okay? You cut the styrofoam into small, careful, very easy to consume chunks. Now once your styrofoam is finished uh, being cut, your final product will look like this. Got it? So, this is very amazing. Where did you learn how to cook this? Well, when I was a child, my mom hit me. And I decided, sorry. I decided that in order to get respect from my family, I can't talk about this. I'm so sorry. So the next step is, um, to carefully chop and mash some garlic. Now, on our planet, we really do not like to consume things like this. Garlic is the most horrid thing in the entire galaxy. But apparently, from what I've discovered from my mother, it tastes great in guacamole. So, let me grab my garlic. Masher. And carefully swipe it off into the guacamole. Okay? Once you've done that, the next step is to gather a plant found only on the planet Earth. Get it? Got it? Good. Now, this plant is poisonous to humans, but not to us. Not to us, no. Not to us bankle shankers, that's right. All right, this is the beloved herb, poison ivy. Now, once you get your poison ivy, slap it down and chop it up into small, fine chunks. Mash it up, rip it with your hands a little bit. You might want to try some. It's a very uh, delicious product. Good. I have it a lot at home. There you go, that's good, yeah. All right. And throw it on in there. The next step, well, first you need to stir it around the poison ivy. Once you've done that, the next step is obviously to put in one half teaspoon of radioactive crystal bits. 
Oh, that's that's some very hard stuff to find. Where, where would you find that? Well, you can find them in the deep trenches of the Gagglefloschen galaxy. You know where that is? Nope. Perfect. Well, neither do I. My mother hit me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, slurp drop. So put it in. Okay, once you get that in there, you need to add one tablespoon of one of the most beloved liquids on our planet. Fine urine. Oh, yum. I drink that stuff every day. Oh, yes. It's some of the best stuff on the whole. Hmm. Now, add just a half a tablespoon. And you're finished with that. All right. So, our next step. Sir, are you okay? Are you. Wow. Or, uh... No. Never mind. I'm sorry. Hold on. No. This 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 will work. This will work. Okay. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but this will work. Okay? Oh yeah, that's so. That's some good stuff right there. Once you finish that, pull out a pan, a glass pan, any any old glass pan, and if it's not glass, you're going to die. Don't ask me why. I'm not going to explain it. I didn't make up the rules. And this is just an improvised ingredient? We'll say that. Well, it's not necessarily something you would... Now, put it in the oven for about... There! And voila! The frito -lay. Very good. All right. So after you do such a thing, finally get your wooden mashing spoon, mix all the ingredients in, once you finish that, add the rest of your ingredients, such as Please. the gargle blonde heart. So this is, this is a very delicious product. It's no, very you, you can buy this almost any market. Yeah, you got some blood on your hands. Thanks. Yep. Awesome. The styrofoam. Now stir all of that in. Oh, you did? Without me looking? What is this, a joke? Okay. Now, once you've already completed your completed dish of guacamole, you're finished. Now, there's one last step. I'm sorry. You got to keep a clean workspace to be a good cook. Especially if your name is as unpronounceable as mine. I can't even pronounce my own name. Make me try. Make you try? Make me try. Okay. Slurp throat. What's, how do you pronounce your name? We're finished. We have a clean workspace. And now? And we have the guacamole dish completed as ready. So begin to chow. Ready? It's very good. Come on. Anyone? Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyone? Come on. Grab some. Come on. Grab some. We're not just gonna keep this to ourselves. Yeah. It's great. There you go. That's a heart. That, that's that's not supposed to be eaten. You're gonna die in three minutes. You're. 
That's not edible unless you put it in guacamole. What are you doing? Yeah, Look at him. He's dying already. Can we get someone in here? Okay. That was delicious. Okay, this was wonderful. It was wonderful. Thank you for being on the show. And I just have to tell you, this was the most delicious dish. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's back. He's back. <laughs> okay. Oh, slurp drop. We have run out of time. So, 